Hello and welcome back to the vlog. My name is Catherine Torvella. You're watching the No Be Your Old Life, so nothing fancy here other than getting out of debt in 2021. So guys, I wanted to talk to you about the struggle. The struggle that is staying motivated on a long debt-free journey. So I've struggled and there have been days where I have thought, what is going on? Why can't it just end now? <laughs> so everybody has a different way to stay motivated. Some people like to have visualized charts that they color in when once they've paid off a huge chunk. Sometimes like people like me, they like to see the numbers come down through apps and you know to be able to look at everything. So during my debt-free journey, the, these are some of the ways that I've stayed motivated. So number one, two, and three, they all go kind of hand in hand even along with four, five, and six as well. So with the first thing is, is to have a realistic budget. If you have a realistic budget, you will be able to focus on all of your goals and dreams. I discussed more about this in a previous video and I will link that video up here for you. If you continue to have a realistic budget though, then you will be able to then incorporate number two, which is to have some fun during your debt-free journey. Now, I'm not talking about every day or every week or every month and I'm not talking about going crazy about and spending things on frivolous things frivolous spending I'm talking about having fun on a tight budget and you need to incorporate this into your budget but at the end of the day fun it seems to be one of the things that maybe we omit at some point but it is a necessity and if you don't incorporate some fun into your long debt free journey, it's kind of like when you're on a diet, you say you can't have chocolate and then suddenly all you want is chocolate. And so it's the same on a long debt free journey though, isn't it? You have to have some fun and, or you're gonna go out on a bender and you're gonna spend more and more money on frivolous, unneeded things. So my budget allows me to incorporate fun, which has allowed me to stay motivated. So the third thing that helps me stay motivated is to have all of my debts listed and the balance to be updated on a monthly basis. I have also have my bank account linked to my phone and I'm able to look at all of these numbers and see if, let's say, oh, I didn't spend this, let's sweep that over for the end of the month and then I can then pay it off on the next month. So previously I've discussed the app that I use is called the Debt Payoff Assistant. I'll just put a little picture of that, what it looks like. So number four and five, again, go hand in hand too watching other YouTubers on the same journey or on the, you know, on a different kind of journey. But I love watching other YouTubers and seeing what they're doing can help motivate me and give me inspiration. I love watching Dat Free Dad and Katie and Cullen and seeing what they're doing in hope that I can find another way to help me along with my journey. Not only to stay motivated, but maybe they're using some sort of trick or tip and that can then help me along on my journey. Number five, find some awesome people to help support and encourage you. Now the YouTube and Instagram community within the debt-free community has helped and encouraged and motivate me to the person I've grown into today. And I'm really grateful for some of the friends that I've made along the way. So go and find your people, reach out to them, start a conversation. It's really hard to sometimes speak to people about being in debt like your friends or family or your colleagues um, when you're going through a long debt-free journey. And you know, you have to look for that encouragement sometimes and you can do that in this community. It is such a phenomenal and it's such a powerful community too. So go and find your people. So number six, I'd love to read and I don't maybe read as much as I can now that I'm living in a house. So when it was lights out in the van and I was on some cozy side street in some residential neighborhood, I would try to be really respectful of noise. So I would read interesting books. Now normally I am not into self-help, but I will say I came across this book and it spoke to me and it spoke to me because we probably all have had these naysayers in our life and in our journeys that have said, you won't do it. You won't pay off your debt. You're always going to be in debt. You're just, you're just doing this van thing to spend more money. But this book has really helped me. It's called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a... 
by Mark Mason. This book has really helped me see the big picture in my life and I just needed to take that step back and look at the other side of the coin because we could all allow someone to chirp in our ear and make us stop our journeys. But at this point, with six months left, nothing is going to stop me from completing my debt-free journey and to continue on. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that maybe one of my suggestions can help you in staying motivated. Maybe you've already been doing some of these things. So tell me in the comments below, how are you staying motivated on your long debt-free journey? Are you doing anything specifically that can help me in the next six months? please comment below. It is sometimes hard, but guys, the future looks so bright. And I have to say that if it wasn't for this community that we have built, I, I may have not gotten this far. So I'm really grateful. So if you have made it this far in the video, thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. It is the easiest way to support my channel. And I, got, I will see you guys next Sunday.